Hello, and so this is Decker, which is actually a game that sort of doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it's based on, I believe, Shadowrun 1st or 2nd edition rules. It's really old. It's free, but the it's actually old enough that the website of the author kind of stopped existing. So you have to get off SourceForge. But uh, you, it's one of the few hacking games that exists, and you play as a hacker, and you get to pick your icon. Because in Shadowrun, when you're on the internet, you have an icon, and you can be like this little dude with a wrench. Or you can hit your microphone, you can be like a little smiley face, or an angel, or a little wizard. Or, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that creepy thing is. I like a little dude. I think I usually end up liking the little wrench man, and you can pick a starting bonus. And Iron Man mode means that you can't, like, load and save. You can be Hacker X. Well, see, since it's YouTube, I'm obligated to name myself something like Poop Stupid Name, but that would be dumb. So, you know, I'm not going to be dumb. And you could choose where we get an extra skill point, extra hardware, extra software, or cash money. Well, because I hate myself, I'm going to choose none. So, in this game, there's actually a. Like, hardware matters. You can come in here to projects, and I can choose things like I want to make a new program or I want to make a new chip. Well, the problem is, I, I can make a program all I want up to my programming level, but I can't run it unless I also have a chip that can do that. See, so like, I have these coprocessors and things. I can't run software that's above my CPU. And my cyber deck is made out of sticks. So there's things I can program, but they basically wouldn't do any good at all. So let's go get a contract. And the, oh, there's only one. This can happen. Sometimes the only contracts that are available are ones you can't do. The client wishes to sabotage electronic door locks at the generic genetic system. You must locate the I.O. node controlling this and sabotage it. So let's... Well, I just accepted the contract. I don't have to do it. I can just, like, go to sleep for the entire contract, and they won't appreciate that. Ow. So this is basically kind of like a little dungeon crawler with a kind of Shadowrun feel. So one thing I want to do is I think I actually forgot... Oh no, I have hide. Okay, hide is already active, which means that this guy can't see me, but there's a like a little firewall thing here. So I have to try to... So I have to... So I have to... And uh... It's bad. This is really bad. And also, my ears cannot take this noise. Let's try this again. Oh, that's so much. What I have to do is uh, get dumped out of the network <laughs> and fail completely. So, yeah, you can choose, like, you go to a hospital or not. Whenever you disconnect, that counts as an entire day. So, what I'm going to try to do here again is deceive. And because deceive succeeded this time, I can wander off. And then I can walk into a CPU node and immediately get hit in the face. The so main thing is, smoke uh, makes it more difficult to, for people to see you. Which means... Hide is already active. He's just probe is wandering around, but because the node is smoked, you can't necessarily see that I'm here. And I just want to get a little bit more uh, randomness. Crap. Let's try this again. I don't think it's gonna. Oh, it actually worked, all right. Smoke is great, because it allows you to run away. And now we actually succeeded in deceiving that firewall, so we can just walk on through. 
And uh, this is where we need to be. I don't know, that just reminds me what my contract is. Uh, well, this is where I needed to be. That's just my health. Oh no, we're still exploring. Uh, I'm being queried. Because I'm being queried, I'm just going to uh, bail out. Do a little bit of scanning. Scan in Shadowrun terms, and thus in Decker terms, means that you look for files. See where it says some are worthless and some are valuable. We just kind of... Um, we just hope our deceive program works. He was not deceived, so we're going to uh, run away and then come back. And then scan some more. They're gonna run away. <laughs> They're gonna come back. Okay, scan has been completed. We can just do that incrementally. Uh, let's do some evaluate. Evaluate's not like the most important. It just tells you what the cost of things is. We bypass the Guardian. Here's some research data that's useless. And a uh, chemical formula. And then there's some funny things going here. Like sometimes there'll be like this uh, videos of StarCraft. A thriller movie. Nobody wants a pirate film. And a thing. A couple turns to respond because they figure you might just like be lagged out or something. And I believe this is the the node. It's like he's gonna ping me, and I've got like a, a second to fail my deceive check. And to, uh, throw up some smoke. We come back and uh, trigger the alarm and uh, fail my contract. So, uh, so that happened. Sweet. I'm gonna take two to but I still got the $41, because I got the pay dirt. And I actually can't do any, anything, because there are no missions. So... I believe you only get skill points for completing a mission, which means... I actually can't like make anything at all here's a fire I mean there's stuff that you can do like I can build this stealth booster and uh, stealth boosters are good because they're gonna give me a bonus on all of my sneaky things and being sneaky is one of I mean, there's a couple ways you can do this you can just decide you're gonna kill everyone there are a few missions you're not supposed to set off alarms and that's that's just gonna cause you trouble. Then you can also do the sneaky route, which gets you more money, because sometimes there are kudzu attached to things, and if you anger them, they'll just delete the files, and you won't get paid for it. Whereas if you're sneaky, you can just deceive the kudzu, and they're like, oh, okay, well, you're an accountant, so I'll let you have the accounting records, and then you just download them, and people will buy them. So, I usually go for stealth. Which, I think is... I don't know if people play this game, like, super aggressive. It might be worth looking at at some point. Because it's not a game that people, like, play that often. Especially now that it's harder to get. Yeah, new contracts and shop items available. So there's now a new judge. We just got to uh, either activate a node, deactivate a node, and this one is going to pay us a hundred dollar monies. Let's see if you, oh, we got boned yet, yeah, alright. But we got really lucky. There is the option to just go full war mode, smash and grab all the things. Sweet, external alarms were deactivated. And there's some fun things you can do here. One of them is install a back door and uh, get queried by 
the node is now silenced. So we're going to uh, bail out. And come back here. And, uh... Be hassled. Repeatedly. By things. But yeah, what, what Backdoor does, this little door, is when you come back to the network, you log directly into the CPU. You don't have to deal with any of the stuff to get here, you log straight into the CPU. And that lasts until the end of the contract. The other thing you can do is get away. I've activated the fire alarms. Cool. I basically just griefed everyone who was in that room. So, silence means that people can't start alarms. Like, if you silence a node, people can still see you, but as long as the node is silenced, you can just smash everyone, and they can't raise any more alarm. They can't be disturbed by it. I don't know if a higher level of evaluate actually gives you more money, or if it just does it faster. See, those have tapeworms on them, and the thing about tapeworms is you have to deceive them. File is done. Did some download. I'm gonna wanna silence this node because tapeworms can also panic. All right, cool. I'm gonna silence the node. And he's not going to leave any emission. He self-destructed. And uh... It's probably, yeah, he knows that I'm hostile, and, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, but we succeeded in the, we were supposed to start the fire alarms, I guess they were in the middle of a run, and they needed somebody to cause a distraction, and according to the timer, there is a little mission clock, and it tells us that, like, 14 seconds after we connected to the Matrix, the fire alarm went off. So, I like to think that somebody just, like, went on, like, tour and said I need the fire alarm to be pulled and, like, you know, imagine that if you said I will pay a hundred dollars if someone starts this fire alarm and 14 seconds later it starts. It's like, wow. That's a pretty fast turnaround time. As opposed to the other ones where it's like a day or two and you just keep coming around like whenever that fire alarm goes off and then it just doesn't. So we did a contract, which means we get a mission. So this is where things get awkward. You have to have the skill. Like if I say I want more stealth, that's going to make me where I can do more stealthy things. But my software is also rubbish. So I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to do that because there are contracts left to do. So... Another thing I can do is come to this, I can work a day on it, cool, and it tells me, here's the rating. Well, now that I have rating 1, I can upgrade that, or put it on a better chip, or whatever. I can take stealth boot, sneaky shoes. Yeah. Building your own software is not something that deckers usually do. If only because... You never have the time to actually do it. Uh, in actual Shadowrun, you can do this. You can just go, I'm going to write some software. But the rules for it are in the months. And depending on your GM, you may... Uh, in my experience with Shadowrun, each session... Like, we'd have three sessions that were part of the same day. So it was really good that it wasn't a spells per day system. Because I've had that too for D&D. &D, and it's really painful. And we're just like... I think we ended up house ruling that you also regen at the start of a session. But in Shadowrun, you, know, you can have multiple sessions in the same day. So something that's going to take several months, you're just never going to do. It's it's far easier to just steal the software. <laughs> Which you can't do in this game, unfortunately. I keep opening the wrong thing. Piracy is something you can do in Shadowrun 4th Edition. It's real. There are downsides to it, and there are serious risks to it, but it's something you can do. Are you serious? <laughs> sneaky shoes activated, sneaky shoes has expired. <laughs> it expires immediately. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. You know, I, I really should have, uh... day left to do it, so let's hope for the best this time. Let's try silencing the node. Let's try running sneaky shoes. Okay, so the level 1 booster just expires instantly. <laughs> it is completely useless. A decrypt? Not useful in this circumstance. I don't know if Analyze actually gives us a bonus. certain, like, we may get a, if we just keep spending forever and a day, well, we may have been, it may have been that we just did that, so let's, now that we've analyzed it for a while, I think that makes it easier to deceive them, because you're paying, essentially the balance for that is you're paying for time. Like, we're gonna shush everything, he was not fooled by that. But I can run away for now, and it'll be all right because I actually broke the node. Uh, so I don't see, see the probes. The probes can just be a. Oh no! I wandered back into the CPU. So the cool thing was is you can throw smoke, and then you move, and they don't necessarily know where you went. So here, I can be like, smoke! And he's like, are you friendly? And go, I'm gonna analyze you. And uh, he's like, you're taking a really long time to respond. And I'm gonna deceive him. And he's like, you're totes legit! Welcome! And I'm like, yeah, sweet. So I'm all like, I'm gonna silence in case you decide to have a panic attack. So this takes more time, but there's no time limit. The only time limit is like if I was actively being hassled. Which I'm actually not actively being hassled, so... And uh, yeah, there's some of these wandering around. They're looking for that intruder who bothered everyone, and the, the, there's no intruder. They're checking here, and it's like... The only guy in here is just, you know, that guy who's supposed to be here. He's in the gym. We've actually been here in, now for like an entire minute. Deceive! Alright, yeah. So Analyze does make it easier to deceive them. And, uh, he was not deceived, so he exploded. Unfortunate things have transpired, like me failing the contract. Excellent. <laughs> oh, see, this is one of those I must delete recordings and there cannot be an alarm, which means that we're just screwed. Uh, so we're going to start with a little bit of lies, because this is, like, it's really important that. Oh, I think you only get the one. All right, so you just spend an extra turn analyzing, and based on how that goes, is you know that's what you get. So, let's say no silence program failed. Let's say no alarms, and uh, go ahead and let me in. All right, we got. Uh oh, shite. All right. I've been queried. Uh, they don't believe me. Um. Smoke, leave. Because that was a CPU, they're completely 100% aggravated. And I'm like, don't tell anyone that I'm here. He did not believe my BS. And he's crushing my face. I have been dumped, and I failed. Uh, 
Because <laughs> the alarm went off. Which basically means... I'm almost dead. 120 days to become less dead. So, yeah. Uh, are we going to survive the end of the month? My monthly cost is $500. I don't have $500. Please tell me there's enough contracts to get $500. There is. But, uh, whether we can succeed in that or not is completely... So we're gonna be like, yo dog, believe me. And he did. Which means we can now uh, be queried. And I can be like, uh, analyze program failed. Analyze program succeeded. Deceive. And this, uh, the CPU's like, alright, I believe you. That's legit. I shut down the uh, intrusion system. And now I've completed the actual mission, so we're at least going to get this money. Now I can just troll around and, uh. Actually, now I can just leave. What? No, it was not sabotaged. You're broke. So, thanks home to repossess your position, including your deck. Game over. Well, that was Decker, everyone. Um, that was Decker. Good talk.